Okay, so this is a tutorial on the different layers of the abdominal wall. So, firstly, I'm just going to show you the various muscles very briefly, and then we'll uh, run through the different layers that make up the abdominal wall. So, right in the middle, we've got this muscle here, which is called the rectus abdominis. Um, and then on the side, laterally, we've got three different muscles. So, superficially, we've got this muscle with its fibers oriented. Um, inferomedially, so this is the external oblique muscle I'll just remove that. Underneath the external oblique we've got the internal oblique and this has the majority of its fibres oriented superomedially and then underneath this we've got the transversus abdominis with its horizontally oriented fibres. So let's just um, let's just take a look at a cross section so we're going to slice the abdomen in half and we're going to look at a cross section and the different layers that we pass through so we're looking at a cross section now so I'll just orientate you so anterior is this side um, and you've got so you can see the rectus abdominis muscles and then laterally you can see the three muscles I just showed you so the external oblique the uh, internal oblique and the transversus abdominis so we'll just look at the, we're going to um, just imagine passing a needle through through the lateral side of the abdomen. So we're going to take a look at the layers that a needle would pass through if we stuck it through this side of the person. So the first thing we'd pass through is obviously the skin. So I'll just draw that on here. And then next we'd pass through the superficial fascia. So the superficial fascia consists of two layers. You've got the superficial fatty layer, which is called campus fascia, and you've got the deeper membranous layer, which is called scarpus fascia. So the way I remember which way round these two go is that the letter C is before the letter S, so campus is more superficial than scarpus fascia. So I'll just draw that on here. So we've got... I'll just scribble that on. So this is the superficial uh, fascia. This is the fatty um, campus fascia and we've got the um, the membranous layer so th so uh, scarpus fascia so this is the superficial fascia and that lies under the skin and then after this um, the superficial fascia it depends where you're really putting the knife or needle or whatever so if we're putting it through the lateral part of the abdomen so through here um, we're next going to pass through the uh, the muscles that I showed you so the external and internal obliques and the transversus abdominis muscle if we in if we're chopping through here then we'll pass through the aponeuroses of these muscles and obviously if we put it through here we'll pass through the rectus sheath and the rectus abdominis muscle so let's just say we're passing the knife through this part here. So we've gone through skin and then the superficial fascia which consists of the campers and scarpers uh, fascia. And now we're going to go through these three muscles. So this is the external oblique, then the internal oblique, and then finally the transversus abdominis. So after the uh, transversus abdominis there's this thin layer of fascia which is called the transversalis fascia and this lines the transversus abdom abdominis and it also lines the abdominal cavity so it lies, lies right underneath the transversus abdominis and it runs uh, just underneath and it lines the abdominal cavity so I'm drawing this on in green so this is the transversalis fascia so underneath the transversalis fascia, we've got the extra peritoneal fascia. So I'll draw this on in purple. So this is a thin layer of connective tissue. Um, and this lies between the transversalis fascia and the next layer, which is the parietal peritoneum. So that's why it gets the name extra peritoneal fascia, because it lies outside the parietal peritoneum. So I'll just draw the parietal peritoneum on here in red. So this is the final 
a um, fascia that your needle will pass through or knife or whatever you're using. Um, so the parietal peritoneum lines the walls of the abdomen and it's a thin serous membrane. So the peritoneum, you've got the parietal peritoneum which lines the walls of the abdomen and you've got the visceral peritoneum which covers the viscera. And then you've got mesenteries which is kind of a um, doubling up of the peritoneum to wrap around the organs and suspend it from the abdominal walls. But I'll do another tutorial on the on the peritoneal cavity and the peritoneum. So those are the layers of the abdominal wall. So you've got the skin, the superficial fascia consisting of campus and scarpus fascia, so fatty and membranous fascia. And then you've got the three muscles, the external and internal obliques, and the transversus abdominis muscle. And then you've got the transversalis fascia, which lies immediately below these muscles. And then you've got the extra peritoneal fascia, and then below that you've got the parietal peritoneum.